I'm going to give you a bit of advice from somebody who actually has been in a street fight before. I've been in a lot of confrontations in the past where on nights out, mainly all of them have pretty much been on nights out. Funny thing is, bro, whenever I was 16 years old, 17 years old, I was one of those people considered a nerd. I was sitting inside all day playing video games, didn't have any light real life experience. You know, it wasn't until 17, 18 years old until me and my mate decided, you know what, life is boring playing video games all day, let's go out. So we started going on nights out, uh, we started drinking alcohol, we started getting drunk, and we started getting introduced to sort of like the party lifestyle. Obviously it's the degenerate thing, don't really believe that a lot of people should be doing it at the minute. If you're in your 20s and you're still going on nights out, bro, you need, you're, you need to grow up. You know, stop acting like a child and, and act like a man, especially after the age of 20. And start working on a business or start making money in some way on, on your career and start building your family up or whatever it is. But just stop playing video games. One of the benefits to going on nights out all the time, and not, a lot of people actually won't say this, is you do sort of, you do sort of understand people a lot more you know once you're thrown into experiences that are intimidating especially you know if a conflict or if someone's trying to fight you or whatever you know you do learn a lot about life in those moments you know a lot about yourself i was in a fight one time that was started with not that, that's something i um someone else start i never once started a fight myself but i've always been involved in them either splitting one up or my mate and in this scenario this one particular that i'm talking about my mate actually started having this bit of conflict with some fella. Obviously, whenever there's drink involved, you know what happens, you know, things do escalate pretty quick. But one of the pieces of advice I can tell you the most, bro, is if you're someone who's watching this and you're uneducated and you are a bit intimidated by the thought of being in a fight with someone, it's not as scary as you think. The only reason it is scary for you is because you don't know what to do. You don't need to win a street fight. If you are in a bit of a conflict with somebody, on a nightclub mostly on a night out most people don't want to fight and this is something that not a lot of people will tell you this most the majority of people don't really kind of want to fight they always give off the persona of they're hard and, the, and that they're that they're tough but those are the people that actually don't want to fight the most those are the people who are the most scared now this isn't the case with everyone it's about 90 percent of people because you do notice this that once you get in someone's face and retaliate back whenever someone's actually trying to act intimidating to you once you sort of show them that like you're not really you're not phased by their intimidation or whatever they crumble and you sort of see through it and you know a lot of fellas that may not give you the chance to actually do that but what i'm saying is a lot of people really are scared of conflict no one no one wants to fight no one wants to be thrown in that position even people who know how to fight the best way to win a street fight bro is to not get in one and i know that sounds very <laughs> anticlimactic but if you want to win win a street fight never be the one to throw the first punch never ever 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 because you can because basically if if the other person strikes first you can then claim self-defense always never ever ever throw the first punch in a street fight ever if it does escalate to the point where you can't get out of there at all if you can't escalate if you can't de-escalate it with words if you can't if you can't calm it down with words and you know if you can't stop it at all, and if you're backed into a corner and you have to fight, never be the one to throw the first punch, all right? Because once they do that, or once they initiate that, or once they whatever, what you basically need to do in those scenarios where you have no choice, after they throw the first punch, you throw one back, or you, or you kick, or you do something, and then you sprint the hell out of there. You get the hell out of there. I was in a scenario like that myself, where I was in a, in a nightclub, and it was just something really stupid as, like, some my, my mate, my, a friend of mine was talking to some fella and they were getting on really dead on and then all of a sudden the conversation went really bad he then ran off and tried to jump us and he ended up throwing the first punch on me i retaliated obviously i punched him back straight in the face and i got out of there you know a lot of people will sit there and say oh that's being a coward or whatever but people who really say that bro don't get in they, they, like they've never been in a fight in, them, in their lives because the worst sort of fight to actually get into is a street fight because if you get knocked out on, on in a nightclub or out on the street you know you could you could seriously do some damage to yourself or to someone else a lot of people give terrible advice online when it comes to this sort of stuff i'm going to give you another piece of advice as well if someone's looking at you where they're clearly annoyed at you or they clearly want to start something with you and you're in a you're on a night out or you're somewhere look at them Give them a little bit of like a friendly nod, like like a that there, and then go back to your norm, to go back to your business. It shows that you acknowledge them and that you're not that you don't really care and that you're just you know what I mean. 
don't stare at them, don't look at them back, and don't ignore them. Because once you, once they see that you're clearly just ignoring them, that just riles them up even more. Look at them for a brief moment, give them a bit of a head nod, and then just go back to enjoying your night. That can already de-escalate um, de a, a bit of conflict. Because you don't know if that person has like a group of mates or whatever. Because if you hang about gloating or you, you're an idiot and you're some sort of stupid person like that there, you could easily get jumped. Because like I said, that person could have friends, they could have a blade on them, they could have whatever. So in these scenarios where you are on nights out, those things, these things sadly do happen. You can't avoid it. You just need to realise bro that like the majority of people on nights out who are absolutely pissed drunk are stupid people. They're dumb idiots. Anyone who starts a fight with somebody on a night out is a clown. Pretty much every fella doesn't really kind of doesn't really want to fight. No one wants to fight, bro. Everyone shits themselves whenever they do get in scenarios like this. I hope this video does help. Don't waste your time looking back. We're not going that way.